What is that? No. Is that yours? No. No? All right. Well, back day. Back in Oakdale. Back, back from Houston, back in Oakdale. Okay? Yeah. Yeah? B uh, back in bisexuals. Back in bisexuals. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna hit some backs. Um, Slim. Got a cool little wide grip attachment. Other than that, man, yeah. Got back from that. Houston a few days ago. Three. No. Did I get back about a, four or five days ago? That's how many? Okay. Yeah. Wait, how long were you out there for? Three days? Three days. Three days. That's a, how, you think you should have been out there longer? Or three days was, was enough? It was perfect. I think it was yeah. perfect, yeah. The third day you were like, yeah, you know, fuck you guys. I'm ready to no, go. No, I, was, I <laughs> honestly wanted to stay out longer. That's good. That's why I decided I'm going to go out there for three to four months uh, once I'm ready. Good energy. Just lock in and get ready for competition. Have TNF coach me for a show. Stay out there, lock in, head down. Eyes on the prize. That's the future. But like, no, I had a great time. I wanted to stay out there longer, but I think it was just right because I don't want to burn myself out. Yeah, that's awesome. No, I had a great time in Houston. TNF is a solid fucking guy. Marcus, shout out Marcus. TNF, they're both super solid. And their camera guys are super solid. Jim and uh, Alex. I, I had a great time there. Shout out the crew. It was really fun, man. It went better than what I thought. All the EchoVision guys, too, even though I'm with huge supplements. Shout out the EchoVision guys. They're yep. so super solid. It made me feel really welcome. It's fucking badass. So competition this year, maybe. Yes, yes. we could be in this year. All right. Yeah. Announcement. Announce the announcement. It's going to be a fact. I'm going to make it happen. I will so, not go on another bulk phase or muscle building phase until I step on stage. That's going to be big, baby. Yeah. Now yep. it's time to let's get into this back. Let's do it. up to me looks at me and right away I already knew, he had he's a like, smile he's like I knew what he was gonna say he's like right away you look I was like yeah I look like Siva he's like yeah that's exactly what oh, I was gonna say yeah. I'm like I get that all the time so that, right was the, that was the first time that was the first time and then uh, second time I was at a this place kind of like angry chicks Oh. It was like the Houston style of ink. I don't know what it's called. It's not Something Dave's. It's like uh, Houston style. Huh. And I was eating this like macaroni and cheese with chicken tenders and french fries with like, hot <laughs> sauce on it. And then like a coleslaw chicken sandwich. Yeah. And a fucking cinnamon toast crunch, milkshake. And these high school kids just come up to me and they're like, bro, you look like Siva. I'm like, nah, I'm not Siva, but I'm with you. I'm in LA. And I just got done hanging out with the Echo guys. And they started like fangirling a bit. Oh, yeah. They wanted to follow me and were talking to me and getting all hyped up. That's funny as fuck. It's only like the 30th time people, someone has said I look like Seba. Just start wearing some Seba merch. Literally, that's happened. I've been in like fucking gas stations. People, are you Seba? <laughs> I've had people really. They're like. <laughs> Some light, some light, just some light. Some <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Get the hell out of here. 
Dre, what's up? Give me a funky ass bass line. negative portion of the rep. Um, concentric, concentric, I don't know, either one of those. And my brain's not fucking working right now. Uh, that's the positive motion, that's important too. But really controlling that negative and really getting a nice stretch, yeah. keeping the tension on the lats, and ultimately what's gonna help really grow any muscle, particularly this low row movement. Stacy and start curling her. <laughs> Can't find one. Preferably or Tina. <laughs> Pedro, or you'll be the Stacy of the day. Pedro. This is another pull down variation. I guess this is more like a close grip, but this is you know more narrow, so you're gonna get more of your you know hit your lats a little bit more than I would say a wider grip versus the first one I did, the first pull down, which is a bit wider, and I feel like you're getting a little bit more back thickness. Yeah, you're still hitting your lats, but a bit more focus on the back thickness. This will focus more mainly on the lats with a more narrow grip. The hands kind of pointed, you know, like like this. So instead of like this, and this is kind of out like this to be a bit more backwards.
exercises of the finisher. It's gonna just be a normal uh, rope pullover, you know, to really exhaust the lats at the end. I've always been a big fan of this one. I've always felt it really well in the lats. You don't wanna go super heavy, but you wanna do a weight that you can get good amount of reps with. Really get that, I'd say a good contraction in the lats. This one's really good. So she says, you know, you keep it nice and tight and you get a little bit of stretch going up. And so doing that, I'm gonna throw in some uh, pull-ups too. Oh, yeah. So we're just gonna do a little bit of a combo, a little bit of a pullover combo with uh, pull-ups. This is one of my, been probably my go-to finisher exercises for back for since I was like 19 years old. I used to watch Callum and Moger do these, and like I never heard of them, and then I started <laughs> doing them, and I felt like a really good, you know, feeling in the lats. Yeah, they've been like a bread and butter. Yeah, I don't ever see people do them now. The only other person I see do them is uh, Wesley Vissers. He's another bodybuilder. He just won the Arnold. He does them too. But I say this is a super underrated line exercise.
Crazy, bro. This is 230 pounds faster, so I'm probably around 234. Think about it, I'm only about maybe 10%. Man. Maybe 11 at the highest. Some people think I'm leaner, like eight or nine. I think I'm probably about 10. Competing, maybe 217, 218. Whew. And it's like, yeah, I'm lean now, but wait till I'm shredded. Yeah. And then I'm sure I have to shred in this dice. But I'm gonna keep going, I'm not satisfied. Yeah, bro. Yeah. We still got a lot of work to do here with the physique and continue to cut. Yeah. And maybe uh, get, get a show soon here and yeah. see how it goes. A lot I'm of content. Go, I'm gonna give it my all. But the plan is to win. Yeah. That is, I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna enjoy the experience. I know I'm gonna be a bit fresh, a bit raw, but I'm gonna do whatever it takes to fucking win. You know what? I'm not just competing just to do it for fun. No. This is what I want to do for my future, for my life, you know, my career. Um, but yeah, the biceps look. It's all in. You're looking nice, huh? Fucking okay. mantis pose. I think that's it, I think that's the video. Feeling it? Yeah, I think that's good. Solid, bro. I think that's a solid workout video. We got the back in there. We got the biceps, a little bit of bicep action. That's it. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a good workout for our back fitness. Increasing your, your lat width, getting a little extra bicep work. Yep. Um, but nonetheless, guys, thank you guys for joining. If you're still, you know, watching at this point. Yep. You know, you're a real one. Yeah. So I appreciate you guys. Um, feels good to be back shooting with Reese a little bit too. Yep. It's gonna be a good summer. A lot of good content on the way. Yeah, I'm yep. gonna make it count. So we all, me and Reese are gonna make it count yep. too. It's, it's gonna be good. Houston video soon too, or the Texas video soon before this one. Yep. Let's see, so. All right, boys, so. until next time.